Hey guys, Lauren Vitrack, certified personal trainer here. Uh, it's Friday, excited for the weekend, and I just want to give you guys some quick bicep tips and a quick bicep workout, get you ready for the weekend. So, um, very minimal equipment today. I'm just going to be using one, an easy curl bar. If you don't have an easy curl bar, it's absolutely okay to use uh, a standard 45 pound barbell or just some lighter weight dumbbells just to get the muscles warmed up. So first thing, I'm gonna grab my easy curl bar. Just feeling the weight of my biceps. Come to the top, I'm gonna squeeze my biceps as hard as I can at the top, slow on the way down. Do a couple reps just like that, just getting the muscles warmed up. Also here you can do what's called a drag curl. So with the drag curl, what I wanna do is I wanna bring the bar just straight up my body. Squeezing at the top, same thing, slow on the way down. Do a couple drag curls too. Well, the drag curl really isolates the outer head of the bicep and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into our hammer curls in just a second. A few regular curls, a few drag curls, just getting the muscles warmed up. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to use one dumbbell today for the demonstration. Often I like to use two at the same time just to maximize my time. Uh, the way my workout's a little bit shorter and I can spend more time working my back, working my chest, working my, my shoulders. So, uh, standard dumbbell curl, just going to curl the weight to the top, pause, slow on the way down. Slow on the way down. Now these are 25 pound dumbbells. Uh, if you want it to go a little bit lighter, that's fine too. The biceps really respond well to reps and you don't have to kill yourself with the weight. Oftentimes when I see guys lifting too heavy, they're just swinging the weight around and that can be more dangerous than uh, uh, give you results. So as we talk about the hammer curl, like I said, I wanted to talk about uh, this outer head of the bicep, which is really uh, what you're showing off as you, as you flex the arm and is really the, the larger head of the bicep. So when we do our hammer curls, something that I realize is that when my thumb is in the standard position on the inside, that my forearm takes a lot of the work. That's the uh, brachioradialis, which is this large, meaty muscle on the top of the forearm. But here I don't want my forearms to get the work, I want the outer head of my bicep to get the work. So what I'm going to do is instead of taking my thumb on the inside, I'm going to take my thumb to the outside of the weight right here. Curl it to the top, just making sure my biceps do the work. Slow on the way down. Curl the weight to the top, slow on the way down. So ideally, uh, if it's the end of my back workout, Maybe I'm going to do four sets regular curls uh, after a warm up, four sets hammer curls. If I'm really at Friday and I'm doing a full day arms, uh, I might do more like seven sets of regular curls and then seven sets of hammer curls, maybe working in some cable work or something like that too, just to keep the tension going. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Lauren B-Track, ISSA, personal trainer.